Either he's on the Brute Squad or he is the Brute Squad. What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Diamond Select Pacific Rim Uprising Bracer Phoenix. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, its name is Bracer Phoenix. You got the Pacific Rim Uprising logo right there. On this side of the box, we have a nice image there of a Bracer Phoenix. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots and you have a bio there if you want to read it and that's basically it for the packaging and moving right along here we have a bracer phoenix another one of our yegas from this movie uh, let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his belly but at that face sculpt uh nicely done head sculpt in my opinion looks quite good nicely detailed Paintwork looks quite nice in my opinion. I love the paintwork overall on Bracer Phoenix because it definitely gives it that uh, that nice weathered look. And I do quite like that. I think it looks quite, quite good in my opinion. Got the guns there. The belly guns. You can see there's even a little bit of orange in there. Which looks quite nice. If the camera will focus, there we go. You got some orange detailing in there as well. And just going down the body here. Got some extra armament there on the forearm. Big old punch in hand. I haven't seen the movie yet, so I'm not totally sure what everything is. I'm assuming these are extra guns or something. And this just looks like just a big pair of nuts to punch a kaiju. <laughs> but yeah, um, overall, um, I do like the paintwork. Like I said, it gives it a nice weathered look. 006 there on the knee. If my camera will focus, you focus, camera. You focus. Yeah, overall, pretty nicely detailed. And going up the back, you also get some tamper graph details on this figure as well, which looks pretty good. So yeah, now articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. You do get some wiggly waggly. Uh, can only look up slightly. You can look down, look down into its own chest there. Uh, rotation, you can get about that much, and that's pretty much it. Uh, these big shoulder pads are on a ball joint, so they'll, you know, they got some wiggly waggly to them. The shoulders can do a full 360, but it is squeaky. It is, it is very, very squeaky. It can actually get a little bit stuck there, so be careful with that. But yeah, that joint, that joint's a little, it, it's not as smooth as one would like. It is pretty, it, it's pretty stiff. So just be careful with that. Um, and you do have some forward and backward movement there at that ball socket. There's a ball socket at the base as well. And that's how all that works. Outward movement, you get that much. You do have under 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You have wrist rotation. The hands can also move in and out on that hinge. Uh, the torso is on a ball joint, so you have some wiggly waggly in there as well, and a bit of rotation, not a lot, but I think about as much as you need. Legs, can't go forward, that far all the way up, like that, can't go back, all the way like that, outward, uh, you only get that much outward movements. Pretty hindered there, unfortunately, and you do get a bit of rotation there as well. As far as knees go, you have two joints here, so you have this joint, which can bend up that far. You have this joint as well, which can bend up that far, and that's as far back as it goes. Now the feet can move up, they can move down, they can rotate, you also do get ankle tiltage, and you also get a toe joint there. Now, as far as accessories go, all that is included with Bracer Phoenix is an extra set of hands. So you get, you just get a pair of closed fists. But again, nicely detailed and nicely painted. And the hands swap out very easily. They just pop right off. Pop the new hands right on, like so. And now Bracer Phoenix is ready to knock out some kaiju. 
And that's it, as far as accessories go. That's it, that's all you get, just extra hands, <laughs> unfortunately. And there you have that. And for comparison, here is Bracer Phoenix with Gypsy Avenger. And we'll also bring in Sabre Athena. And you can see how these three scale with each other. And as you can see, Bracer Phoenix is the shortest of the three. Whether or not that scale is accurate, I don't know, because again, I have not seen the movie yet, but they still look good together. They still look good together, in my opinion. A good-looking set of Jaegers. So, there you go. So, there you have Bracer Phoenix. Um, this figure is is pretty solid. Um, the shoulder joints can be a bit temperamental. Sometimes they, you're, they're really easy to move around, and sometimes they'll just get flat-out stuck on you, which gets a little scary. So, that's something that eh, could have been improved upon. A little more fluidity in those shoulder joints would, would have been a lot better. I mean, it is something that is fixable, but still, right out of the box, it's something that does kind of... It, it, it scares you a little bit. For me, personally, if I had to rank these figures, I would say Saber Athena is the best of this first wave. Uh, Bracer Phoenix comes in second, and unfortunately, Gypsy Avenger comes in last. But that's just my personal opinion. So there you go, and again, a big thanks to the good people at Diamond Select for sending these figures out my way to review. I very much appreciate it. And if you would like this or any other Pacific Rim toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my Pacific Rim playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Diamond Select Pacific Rim Uprising Bracer Phoenix, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! All right, I'm ready to kick some kaiju butt. Oh, go home. Saber Athena already took care of all of them. What? Seriously? Oh, man. I even get to shout my catchphrase. It's clobbering time. That's been taken. Seriously? No. Oh, I guess I can come up with something else.